Greetings, everyone. Please put on your clown suits and follow me on this journey. Or better yet, don't do that until we get to the end of this horror movie. This is a movie that keeps playing long after the show is done. Uh, what are we talking about today? Uh, the condition of my people, and in particular, my Jamaican people. Now, it continues to baffle me, this, uh, the stupidity, the level of ignorance that exists in our communities. And it's that ignorance, that stupidity, that causes us to find ourselves in places that are characterized, you no, know, all kinds of ways. Now, I understand that education plays a critical role in how a lot of people behave. But at the end of the day, everything else stands second to common sense. And everything doesn't have to be equated to education when we're talking about intellect. We all are born with intelligence, I am hoping. But somehow some people, uh, uh, theirs is not developed are there not an environment in which that can develop? What am I rambling about? I'm going to talk about the Chronics versus Junior Gong Grammy nomination. I don't know where to begin with this, you know, but, but I do see a common thread. I see a common trend in the way Jamaican people deal with each other and one of the biggest problems that we have in our country is division we in our country in our race we are divided as a people and we love to talk about other folks who have done things to divide us we always hear about the divide and rule but it doesn't really matter what someone else did or what other people's intention was in dividing us at this point in the game we are the ones who are dividing Ourself against each other. Now, the Grammy, if I may remind you, uh, reminds me of a visa. You know, wherever you come from, uh, these uh, worlds or different places in the worlds uh, say to you, you can come here and you can live with us or live among us or whatever, but you need a visa. And when that visa is extended to other persons uh, of different nationality, when they go to the space where they're invited, there are certain rules to the game. And if you violate those rules, you find yourself back home. You're, you're deported back to your country. So when you get a visa, that is not an automatic right. It's sort of a privilege. It's the same thing with the Grammys. So the Grammy is not created by Jamaicans or black people for that matter. The Grammy is an American thing and it is created by div, um, individuals in America. And uh, what it does is recognize a single piece of work or a body of work by artist. It's sort of a way to say, you know what, we've acknowledged your work, we value your work, and most of the individuals who are winning these Grammys, Grammys are getting the support from their fans, people who say, we appreciate you, we go to your concerts, we are buying your music. Now, these diff individuals sometimes might feel disappointed when their, you know, their artist doesn't win. And, but it's usually a different kind of disappointment that we see. What we see now with Junior Gong and Chronics is nothing to do with fans being disappointed. It's to do with individuals who always seek the opportunity to tear each other down. And not just to tear each other down, but to pit each other against, like pit individual against each other. It is disgraceful, it is embarrassing. Many of these individuals pretty much look like me or the way I'm dressed right now. You're clowns. And to the rest of the world, you look like aliens because there's a lot of people who just don't understand it. They just don't get it. Now, we understand that human beings in every race, every culture, you know, people will get on each other's nerves. People fight. People do bad things towards each other. It's not a Jamaican thing that we have these conflicts in our society. But it's becoming a Jamaican thing where we don't know how to celebrate our own. Junior Gong, son of Bob Marley, is Jamaican. 
His mother is Jamaican. His father is Jamaican. Uh, uh, Chronix is Jamaican. Both of them are in the same genre of music, reggae. Now, the typical um, rational human being from other places in the world, especially if they're invited, they're given this ticket to say, we acknowledge the work that you're doing. These individuals will be standing around their artist or their fellow citizen. They would be supporting their countrymen in a scenario like this. And they would be biting their nails, knowing that there are other persons in a category and one of theirs can win. And they would not care who won. They wouldn't care who brought the Grammy home as long as a person was Jamaican. But that's not who we are. That's not who we are. We are always circling, looking for an opportunity to set somebody against the other. And where is that coming from? That is coming from self-hate. That is coming from jealousy. That is coming from a very negative place where we can't appreciate that someone in our midst is doing good. We have to look for opportunity to pretend that we are supporting one as we pit that one against the other. It is disgraceful and it is embarrassing. Now, what I want to say here is that Chronix, a young artist, a quite conscientious person who have come on the scene not that long ago and have made great strides. When you look at concert halls or you look at, you know, different venues around the world, this young man is pulling individuals at uh, hundreds of thousands of people to his concerts. We should be proud of that. We should be giving him a high five and saying to him, you know, that's good, you're doing well. And then you have Gong, who of course, you know, his father is Bob Marley, but that has nothing to do with the fact that he's doing what he's doing. I mean, listen to the guy's music. Listen to his music. Can you deny that he is a great artist? Can you deny that what he's putting out there is good quality music? And so they're both nominated for the Grammy and someone has to win and he wins and is left to feel like he did something wrong. And in the meantime, individuals start making up these stories as they go around in their clown suits and making up, you know, fake discord between these two artists who are doing what they're doing, who are doing what they're doing to, 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 to make changes in their life, to leave their footsteps in the sand of time. Many of who are here talking their nonsense are not doing absolutely anything to leave any mark except destruction, if you will. I've never bought a chronic CD or brought, bought any of his music on, on, on iTunes. I've never done the same with, with uh, Junior Gong. I've never been to any of their concerts, not because I didn't want to, but you know, I just never had the opportunity to attend for one reason or the other. So how could I sit here now and say, who is more worthy of this win? when I've never contributed to any of their success. The majority of the persons in Jamaica who are speaking about this have never ever contributed to any of the artists' success. Yet here we are, another topic for discussion, another topic to, to, to divide our people on, another topic to show how ignorant, how stupid we are, but worst to show how we have no love for ourselves or anyone else. It is a disgrace. It is the same thing in dance hall. The fans go out there and create chaos and discord among each other over individuals who are doing what they need to do to leave their mark. Meanwhile, you're acting like mad dogs, mad animals who can think for yourself, who have this gang mentality. That is what is happening in our country. Our people have a gang-like um, personality and attitude when it comes to dealing with each other. Chronics, having been on the scene for a short time, was nominated for a Grammy. What an amazing feat that really is. And Gong, whose father happens to be Bob Marley, and who might get favors because his father is Bob Marley, but that doesn't define what he's doing. If you listen to 
the album and I've not heard the full thing, but pieces of both, uh, it's hard for me to sit here and cry over the fact that a Jamaican won our own brother, our own Jamaican brother won. And we got stuff to say. Every year when the Miss Jamaica lady loses, you know, people cry and say, oh, she was cheated. Every year it's the same story. She was cheated. In that time, I can quite understand why, you know, you'd want to say your person is better. But at the end of the day, both that pageant and the Grammy does not belong to us. What are you doing to build your own so that you're not out here crying about unfairness, always looking for an excuse to kill each other, to separate yourself from each other? What are you doing to create your own industries or to promote these artists that you claim you love and you appreciate? All you do is pirate their music. You download your music for free. And some of you go as far as buying CDs and downloading people's music and selling it, making money off these artists. And if they had to rely on you to make a bread, they would starve. You need to stop with hypocrisy and you need to take a look at yourself. And understand that when you come out here saying all these nonsense, talking about things you know nothing about, when Vegas is trying to teach you about the music industry and trying to explain how certain things work and how you can position yourself to make sure that you own reggae music, what do you do? You gang up on him and you try to disgrace him and say he's a fool. You know nothing. You, try, you don't try to learn anything uh, more than uh, what you can just hear a bunch of persons speaking about on the corner. So not every Jamaican, of course, let me clarify that because there are some intelligent people. There are some street smart people who understand the game. But, for, but the thing about it is that's in the minority. The majority of the ones who are fools, the clowns are the ones who actually are out on social media talking this nonsense and the rest of the world gets to see that. And your attitude and your behavior and your storytelling, uh, your disgraceful way of presenting yourself, uh, then, you know, shows Jamaica in a very negative light. That we are a bunch of fools, we are a bunch of clowns running around talking about nonsense, always looking for something to harp on for nine days. So this is another nine day thing. But it's not something that I can ignore. It's something that I have to say at the root of all our social problems, at the root of our, you know, violence and tribulation that currently goes on in our country lies pure ignorance. Individuals who are fools, who are put up on a pedestal and treated as if they have sense. Chronics, I know you're proud of your achievements thus far. And thank you so much for coming out there and separating yourself from these clowns to say that I'm not on what you're on. And congratulations to Junior Gong for the work he has put in thus far in building this album. Uh, to all our musicians and, you know, all our entertainers around the world and particularly in Jamaica, I just say keep moving, keep working, holding on to the legacy. Bob Marley, you know, went out there and put in the work uh, for you all to come here and to be able to say, you know what? We stand on the, the shoulder of a giant. His children continue to keep his legacy. And I suggest these vultures in Jamaica who have this attitude uh, that, that, that uh, sucks on negative energy, this gang-like personality and attitudes that we have towards each other, I'm hoping that's gonna subside. It has to subside. And know that every person in our country, every citizen is valuable and everyone has something to contribute. And some on their rise to fame might get love um, and respect before others. Some will have to take their time and take their turn and build their craft. And when the opportunities come to them, they seize them. We've got to leave this behind. We have to stop it, people. It is disgraceful, it's embarrassing, and it continues to be the thing that keep us apart. Our enemies are no longer from without. Our enemies are within. Stop it. Be blessed, everybody.